So here's the orange I want back here. At least it looks now. So after I get warmed up, all those things get easier for me. Mentally, and of course, physically. All right, so the black dot goes to the left. That goes out to the one of the homes, and the pure orange goes up here. All right, so that's how I want it. This is the way I want it. I still can't I think, keep calling this the ridge line trail. It's not. The Wanakew Ridge Trail. Well, the damn flies, the mosquitoes are like, the horse flies, it is, are relentless. Yeah, this life bike is so much different than my other bike climbing. I have to get used to it. You know, than my cross country bike with no rear suspension. I have the rear suspension locked out halfway on this today. And my front brake seems to be grabbing so far out. I like it like that, but it seems so far out like there's something wrong. And so this is me at the beginning of a ride when I'm exhausted, when I'm not warmed up. It's just so hard for me. Where are we going down here? I think I want this way here. That's totally off the back of the seat. And a quite a bit out of control. Is that the direction I wanted actually? That might have been the hardest damn line. Let me take a look. That might have been the hardest line down instead of coming down to my left here. Yeah. Between the damn bugs and the grade and being and being not warmed up, the damn bugs that keep trying to get them off my eyes. I know it's morning and it's damp. ridiculous you need like the pure deet I have like a natural repellent on you need pure deet you need pure deet they're probably just so immune to everything these bugs <laughs> right, there goes my hands I gotta rest them again as I ride keep shaking them Boy, what a day I'm having. I had a great day yesterday. This is just, I'm struggling this morning. I tried doing this in reverse one time. It's just no fun. You know, a lot of this is climbable, but a lot of it is just ridiculous. So you do too much walking. All right, so let me just see. So this is where, all right, this is where you go to the left and we always miss it. GoPro, stop recording. All right, so I'm going to try and record, you know, the Ridge Line Trail now that I think about it. I know I was turning it on and off, but I just turned it right back on. Sweating profusely. It's going to be like 110 degree feel. Although it's not too bad, just that the efforts, the efforts early on are just crazy for me. Like I keep like I keep complaining that until I'm warmed up, everything is like doubly as hard. It really is for me. It's like doubly as hard.
navigate through some of this stuff here. My hands are wet. I have gloves on, but my hands are wet from sweating. I'm trying to dry my face a little bit. Oh. All right, body, come on, warm up. So that to send back here, I was a little bit out of control. A little bit out of control. Yeah, so the surface is wet. I keep the boat doesn't look it, you know, everything is damp and wet. Look at all the trees out, so the storm must have been crazy. I know a friend of mine up north, way north in Sussex, they lost power, he had to turn around on the bike or something, I forget what happened, but... And there's a couple spots where you have to walk up here to graze, it's too steep for almost anybody. Now remember, like I said in the other video recently, the people who ride in here are really good riders, otherwise they wouldn't be riding in here. So when you compare yourself, you know, you're comparing yourself to the best riders around half the time. Wait, I have no energy. Zero. Zero damn energy. All climbing. <sighs> I'm trying to rest down here, it's so tiring for me. Huh, can you see the elevation up there? Just keep looking at the tree line. Look way up high. Look at the tree line. As so we're going to the right here, are good. So <laughs> the tree line isn't as bad to the right. <laughs> Forty-five minutes, and I'm still not warmed up. Crazy, right? That's the way it is. What's right here? Gotta look for that little rock transition to get up that log. And more little trees down, besides big ones. You get around all this stuff. So this is just rugged and it's dark back here. The darkness makes it scary. The terrain, when you don't live here and you didn't grow up riding, and when you haven't come back in a while, that's what Ramapo is over here, just the darkness. The hands are all sleeping. I did High Mountain Agents Trail the other day. I felt like a King Kong compared to the way I feel today. <laughs> right? I don't know what that was all about. I was on this bike. I was on this bike.
little spot right here. There we go. Just whittle your way through there. I rest my hands again. So damn bad. So damn bad. Oh. And this bike has me sitting upright, so just all these downhills put so much weight on my hands. Now, which way am I going here? All these sticks. More trees down. Look at this. Be careful going through some of this stuff, Rob. Careful going through some of this stuff. I wanted to go straight, but I saved it to the left. You can see these rocks are wet and slippery. Everything's wet and slippery. so bad I gotta rest my hand GoPro stop recording all right camera right back on I, I put in here I got this rock bridge to get across right here it's just, oh, uh, had to keep me bouncing and bounce up and down that sucker oh boy It's just so damn wet back here. That's what it is. It's just so damn wet. That's a real tough spot there. And my wheel rubbing seems to come and go. See? Seems to be okay right now. Excuse me. I almost want to lock out my rear. I almost want to lock out my rear shock. My rear shock. Rest on this downhill. And when I'm tired, I have no power. It just makes everything so much harder, right? You need to have power in your legs at times. All right, Rob, you need to stop complaining. It's wet. We know that it's slippery. We know all that stuff. up here. What gear do I want for this sucker? Let's go down to the little one. And, and what it is, see I'm so, so tired I can't get off the saddle and that's what's giving me trouble. I get off the rear, you know, the saddle, the saddle and the, and the seat. The same thing for people who don't know. <laughs> we all know that. But if I'm too tired I'm not getting up off the saddle and the rear wheel just keeps throwing me. All right, where the heck are we going here? Let me stop and look. They both go right over. So since I'm here, he's going to go this way. And to the left. Oh. John, this trail is killing me today, buddy. It's one of those days where you say, I'm turning around, I'm going home. That's how I feel. There's some more climbing here. Not too technical.
Tahoe trail goes to the right. All right. And so this is that climb there. Right? I'm gonna start walking right here. See it up there? That's gotta be freaking 40%. All right, GoPro, stop recording. All right, the camera right back on, so I'm starting here. Now listen, I didn't sleep at all last night. You know, 15 minutes of like halfway sleeping on and off through the night. I forgot about that. Now that never used to bother me as much when I was younger. I think it really affects me, you know, now in my life. So we're gonna use that as a reason. I forgot about that. I normally let go, and geez, I've done like 200 mile rides with zero seconds of sleep when I was younger in my 30s and 40s. You know, the longest, uh, not the longest day, the hill, not the, not the hill even now, I think I've slept for those. But the Jersey Double, we used to call it, we used to call it the Jersey Double. Bruce Thompson or Martin or and Thompson used to manage it. My hands are wet. I'm wet. I put the gloves on because they would be even worse. I have, you know, knee and shin pan, go knee and shin guards on. You know, real good padding. Lead. And I have good padding in my elbows. And I have a sleeveless jersey on. It's kind of vented in the back. You know, no sleeves. So I'm as cool as I could be. Low socks. People forget how socks some of the cyclists are wearing these high socks in the summer you should be wearing anklets I mean anklets below the shoe and if you wear no sock wear no sock because it's just like another degree you know the hands all right this is another spot where we can't make it up geez this is another one is this even steeper let's look at this one well this one some of the guys I think could get up they get see this is real loose I mean on the ground here it's just this is real loose leaves and rocks you got to get if you get up one of these lips right here go to the left or right of it and then right here it's quite steep unless the guys are going up the middle there Gary I'll talk to you again my power climbing is standing in here you can't really stand so I've been humbled for the last year and a half riding because I have to be seated doing everything plus I have no technique like we talked about some of the best road riders couldn't get up that hill you were describing on the McDade. I can't even walk up these hills, I'm so exhausted. That'd be one of my worst days. So, I've gotten so much better since year one. It's been a year and a half I've been riding the trails. It's gonna take some years to get a little more leg strength. Seated. All right, GoPro, stop recording. Back on the bike after walking up that climb. Actually, I had to take a moment to stretch. To just get a rest. All right, so the orange goes to the left. To the right is if you wanted to extend it things. I've done all that when I was in here experimenting when I was brand new. You can go back and miss all this. Try and take it slow through here, get my rhythm back again. Rhythm or groove, whatever you want to call it. Again, this is like a real soul, like an Eagle Rock day. Ah, just exhausting. Normally those climbs will warm me up. You think they tire you out? Well, if you have some fitness, I have some fitness. Not for going fast, but I have some endurance. All right, so the trail goes to the left here. Let's go back. That's where I miss a good spot. I'm gonna go back and make that left. and try this again. GoPro, stop recording. 
I'm going to try this hill again. I'm struggling so much back here today. I almost don't want to record this video. That's how awful the day is. And how do I get up this sucker? I know there's some rocks here. That was completely... That was completely... You know, out of control. Completely. Forget about elegant. That's not even in this planet. Completely out of control there. Is that the way I normally do? I would think... I know I've gone to the right out there sometimes by accident, not seeing this. See, this is where you hope that these rocks are in the sun so they dry a little bit, like here. Oh, that's where it would have come in, to the right, so you can go actually both ways. So what's to the left there? That's a look again. I'm gonna go up here. This is a little spot. I don't think it has much of anything. But we're going up here. It's not even the orange tree. I think I have it as a bypass, or it's called the Rocky Bypass, I think. I don't know if it's all that, but I thought it was. So you have a couple rocks here. Oh, sunshine with dry rocks. A couple rocks here. Going over this. Yeah, so a couple rocks up here. Not hard at all. Just right on them. Yeah, guys, I don't know if I'm going to show this video. It's so goddamn awful. Right, where am I going here? Because it goes straight. There you go. So that's just, yeah, so that's fun. Can you get a nice little downhill there? Now, there's, I don't think there's anything to the left there. No. All right, so that was one of the bypasses. Is there actually, I thought there was another. It almost looks like out there there could be something. It almost looks like there could be something out there. Alright, we're not going to go out there today. The trail goes straight because there's nothing to the left. And this is the oh this is the this is the highlight of the uh, the uh, what do we call this <laughs> the Ramapo Ridge or the uh, Wanaku Ridge Trail. All right, this is the highlight. Let's make sure the camera is clean for this baby here. This is the highlight. I'm even going to sit down for a minute. Can you see that out there? It's just incredible. That's just incredible. Yeah. The Wanaku Reservoir. Look how vast that is. Look how vast that is. Turn the camera down so I can stand up. Now when you ride, if you were to ride the northern side of Skyline Drive and go down that yellow and red into Ringwood. That's still Ramapo at the beginning, first couple miles, then it turns into Ringwood. You're actually paralleling, but in a steeper version at spots down Skyline, just through the wooded area. So this Wanaku Reservoir, you see that from the top of that, extends way over to the right. And around Greenwood Lake, you see it when you're riding. It's generally on your left when we're going out. And then you have the Monks Reservoir, for those who know the area there. Let's get you to see over here. Yeah, so I don't know. I guess to my right is north. The west would be south. I guess that's all west straight out there. GoPro stop recording. All right, I just took a little break at the top here at the uh, Outlook. My hands are soaked. I try to change the battery. <laughs> my index fingers are, I mean, they are friggin' soaked. My index fingers are soaked. Oh, 
we get back in the groove of things. Just some descending through here. And I gotta hold on, right? Because my hands are so wet. Oh, but if I didn't bring my gloves, there's no way I would be able to ride. My hands are massively slippery now, at least. At least I have a little bit of glove section. Little bit, little bit of a switch from yesterday's video where I was all talkative and excited, doing some tough stuff. It's like I forgot how to do all that today. <laughs> really, it's like I forgot none of that is happening today. Remember, it's body positioning, and if you're too tired to be moving around naturally, and you're wet and frustrated like I am, am today, this is what you're going to get. And this bike just seems so hard to ride today. I don't know why. I don't know why. I gotta remember to pull on those bars when I'm climbing because see, I keep losing my rear traction. Pull or push, whatever it is we do. I wish I had a way to dry my hands. And I'm not moving fast enough. I'm not moving fast enough for them to dry. Let's try going over here. Get my rear wheel keeps slipping. I gotta. And it's not really wet here. Oh, so this is this is the left. That wasn't elegant, but I got up with just sheer will. Instead of bee biting my knee, leg, I gotta stop. Something in the back of my leg. Oh, oh. oh boy. Let me get on right back over here. We can do this, this is easy. Oh. There's no place to dry my hands because my pants are completely soaked. Completely soaked. Let me get my foot back in here. Come on, Rob. Right, so there's some tricky spots up here with wet hands. I'm just a little concerned. I'm just a little concerned with the wet hands. Put the seat down a little. Look, how do we do that? Whoa. You see this tire just slip down? Like, what is that all about? Let's see what I want to do here. I'm going to go to the right here. Boy, I'm just so off today. I'm so off. There was a water spot. Is that what did it? <laughs> I don't know if that's what did it, but there's a water spot right there. Get my foot back in. All right, so it's a little off camber here on the rocks. Then we're just going to go over here. All right, that's how you do that. Through here. Find the pedals through here. Is there some downhill with my wet hands? A lot of downhill up here. That's back there used to scare me all the time. Like, I don't think I did it the first time. 
Let's see what do we have up here. See, I'm hitting all this slowly. There we go. Got my seat back all the way up. I'm just most comfortable there. I keep slipping it down when I see there's more of a downhill. Okay, got a little bit of a rock skinny to, to ride on. Then you go to the right here. Then you got to go off this here. Between that. See, that was, that's what I would never do in the past. Right there. That was the crux of this ride, I think. And look at this sucker here. We're just going to go off it slowly. That was the crux of the, this trail over here for me. Now, if you don't take this trail, to the right is like a massive boulder downhill loose. I mean, I'm talking large boulders down. Yeah, that's pretty tough right there too. You just gotta remember to keep the front up. And I just fought my way out of that, guys, if you can see it. Thank God my hands didn't slip. Thank God my hands didn't slip there because I would have wouldn't have been able to hold on. So that's the rock ridge over here. Hands are still soaked. Alright, so is this more of just a steep downhill? Let's see. I remember walking up this when I did this in reverse. Yeah, this had me concerned, not this part here, but the part I just did. I mean, really concerned today with the way I'm feeling. Yeah, so look at this grade in here. This grade is just crazy. Let's get the seat down. Out of my way. This is just crazy in here. Right? Look at this. Look at this descending. You gotta really hold on. That's some pretty crazy descending. And again, the hands are almost slipping off the handlebars. Holy shit, Rob. See, that's a different thing. When you're holding on to the handlebars, but your hands are wet and they're slipping off. I got to stop here. Well, let's stop at the bottom. I got to stop and just shake my hands out. And I'm going to stop right here. GoPro, stop recording. I'm right back on, shook my hands out. See, my levers are what's wet. The levers are wet, you know, because they're aluminum. My hands are dry, but the levers are wet now. <sighs> All right, so that's the worst. Now there's going to be a tricky spot to get over around the little stream when we get down a ways. But that was the uh, one of the harder sections of the trail, I think, for me. All right, so we're, so we're going to the leftish. I think the left is going to follow it right up here. This loops around here. And then up here, I think the trail is going to wiggle to the left again. When I go over that water stream, I got to remember, as soon as I get over it, you go to the right. That's how you get up it or across it and, and finish that little technical spot. All right, so here's the orange here. The camera's on. Keep looking down to see if I can see the light. It tells me it's on. Hands are soaked. I never had my hands this wet on the ride. And I thought about not wearing gloves just because it was so hot. Never again will I have that thought. All right, so the trail goes to the right still. We're going to the right. I forget what comes down from the left. There's the Peach Trail or there's something up there. Slow motion. Yeah, sure, the back is hurting like normal. We're not talking about that. But the damn sleep, I'm going to blame it on the sleep. I really am. It's coasting through here. My wheels seem to be coasting. I, I think I have an idea what's going on. When I you know, took the free hub off, there's a washer that somehow isn't... There's my to the left. That isn't like... It's not round, so it doesn't, it doesn't spin or it's not loose like it should be. Alright, so when I go down here, so I'm going to the left here. 
Let them come through. Come on, come if you're coming. There's something caught in my spoke. Something caught in my spoke. There it is, right there. Now I gotta go back and do this again, because I made it to right here. Because it was something caught in my damn spoke. Damn. My hands are soaked. So I tried going straight there last time, which is crazy. I wish I had a way to dry my hands. Look at these rocks. Wish I had a way to dry my hands. It's not a way on the ground. It's to... It's my levers. There's not a spot on my pant, my socks, my shoe. You well, know, the surface of my shoe is the only spot. My seat is soaked, everything is soaked. Do a camera wipe one more time. Let me make it back. This is tricky here. Especially when you're not feeling good, like I'm not feeling, right? Let's get my foot in, it's in. I'm just gonna get down from here. Cross these rocks here. Keep your foot off the brakes, Rob. Let me get through here. You gotta go back again, dude. What's catching me up here? This is like the finishing end. Right, let's go back one more time. It's like the finishing spot here. I felt a little better on it that time. We'll turn the camera off for a second. GoPro, stop recording. All right, here we go again. So get the foot in, the feet are in, I got the brakes covered. All right, get a little that. <laughs> Fuck, Rob. You got screwed up on the easy stuff. Let's go back again. GoPro, stop recording. All right, so I, I wipe my hand on the trees a little bit. Get the feet back in here. Put back in, I got the brakes covered. So let's get coming down here. Keep the weight, the weight back. All right up through there. Keep the bike going. Keep the bike going. That old little here. Through here. There you go. That was so goddamn hard. Every aspect, all the way to the end. All the way to the end was hard for me today. How many times did I do that? Five? I had anxiety every single time. And this is a steep, loose, rocky climb. All the bugs on my head. There you have it.